Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So you've been watching videos on people telling you that Facebook has banned cloud-based PC VR streaming and you're ready to cry. Well, I don't believe that's 100% true. And I believe you will still be able to stream PC VR games through the cloud. Talking about crying, don't forget that I have a giveaway for a Secret Quest 2 game. So if you want to enter, it's really simple. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, put notifications on and comment hashtag Secret Quest 2 game down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. To be honest, I'm making this video because I feel like a lot of videos have come out with the wrong message and just hate on Facebook without understanding the reason. And people are just giving an emotional response instead of an analytical one. So I wanted to go in a little bit more depth to understand what is it that Facebook have actually done and what it means for us. I do think it's very inconvenient what they have done, however, it's not new. So let's see what Facebook have done and why they've done it. Firstly, Facebook is basically not allowing apps on their official store or their side store, App Lab, that allow cloud-based streaming. When questioned, Facebook responded with, we've seen the value that customers are able to get from PC VR titles, and we want to enable those sorts of local PC experiences. That said, streaming from a remote device is a significantly different proposal, as it could impact comfort. For now, we're allowing PC VR wireless streaming for local PCs, and hope to learn more about the level of quality it can achieve before we consider cloud-based solutions for interactive VR. I hope you like my impression. Now, Let's talk about why Facebook have done this and how you can still use cloud-based PC VR. So, if you cast your mind back to when the Quest originally launched and we had virtual desktop directly on the Quest and the main reason people were getting the app was because they wanted to stream PC VR game wirelessly. However, Facebook saw this and were like, nope. But it's not because they are as evil as everyone thinks they are. I'm not commenting on their other actions, but the reason they blocked virtual desktop at that stage was because of one simple reason. They wanted to protect their investment. Facebook has dropped a lot of money into VR and are continuing to do so. Their aim is to increase the adoption rate or it will be all for nothing. However, things that put off users are against what Facebook is trying to achieve. So, they initially stopped virtual desktop because it wasn't good enough for PC VR for majority of the people. However, they still allowed it using SideQuest. If Facebook really wanted, they could have easily stopped that as well. But they made it so it was harder to get and the people that really were dedicated could still get it and Facebook wouldn't be blamed for anything if it didn't work. When Facebook saw that it was working good enough for regular people, after all of the updates, they allowed it back in their store. Think about it, wireless PC VR gaming is a massive selling point for the Quest. Why would Facebook not want to allow it? So they have now. Now cloud-based wireless PC VR gaming is going through the same process. Right now, it is definitely not good enough for a lot of people. However, it is working great for some, but the majority rules. You can see that in Shadow's forum comments, where people are struggling with it. And currently, Shadow are the biggest, if not the only ones offering this service for PC VR. Facebook just wants to make it more difficult for people to try and to do it because of the exact reason they did it to virtual desktop. Until it gets better, and by better I mean more locations that are closer to people for a better experience, Facebook aren't going to allow it. Since again, it will put a lot of people off VR because they will think it's VR that's giving them a headache due to the high latency and the other issues that arise with cloud-based gaming. I don't believe this is a permanent thing by Facebook as it's in their best interest to allow it. However, not if the user has a rubbish experience. So, if you really want to do it, I believe you will still be able to sideload the apps like you did with Virtual Desktop. Do I think it's bad what Facebook have done? Personally, I don't like being inconvenienced, but I completely understand. And I think Facebook are actually indirectly looking out for their customers, ultimately for their bottom line, but it is a business. But yes, it will make some people upset as it will be more difficult to basically get it to work. However, like I always say, have no fear, Wackman is here. When I'm able to get my hands onto a cloud-based streaming service, then I'll show you exactly how to do it and try and find the easiest and best way possible. But since I'm in the UK, we don't have any servers near us at the moment, unfortunately. So if I'm able to get any other work, I will make a video. Now, I hope that has helped clear up some things. For people that are already using cloud-based streaming, as long as you can sideload, you should still be okay. So, what do you think about this whole thing? Would you prefer Facebook just allowed direct access with the potential of damaging VR as a whole? Or are you happy to wait until it becomes more refined and give us a better experience? Let me know in the comments. Well, that's all folks. I just wanted to make this video to clear up this misconception, as I don't think it was portrayed very well with the other people covering it. Remember to enter my Secret Quest 2 game giveaway as well. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.